All right, guys and girls, we are back here on the Carver again because this is where we spent a lot of our time. Uh, this is what happens when you pick up a boat that you don't know anything about. This boat was actually purchased in a lot. I got bought three boats at the same time I bought this boat. Uh, two cabin cruisers, and I think I got a sailboat too, but I need to check. I buy so many boats, I don't even know anymore. But uh, this one had the an engine that was dismantled already um, and pretty much ruined so we actually used the Mercruiser out of a Sea Ray that was rotted away uh, at least I believe us so we we actually used the motor out of a Wellcraft sorry forgot what I was doing that was rotted away so it's a Mercruiser 260 uh, 4 bolt main Chevy 350 uh, we freshened it up and, and transferred all the Volvo parts over here, but now I've got to double check some things here because it's not shifting. Like it, the handle up there feels like it has no resistance at all, which is making me think it's probably not working. I said down here, it shifts like it's supposed to. See, we'll go here. Yep, neutral. Yeah, doing everything it's supposed to here. Nothing here is locked up. Now I'm going to check this cable here and see if our cable's moving here. Because obviously, if it's not, we've got a problem here or up on the top on the boat. So we're going to check that out. Pretty easy to get to if you need to get to your shift linkage. It's just this cover right here, which only has uh, it only has one bolt in it. Has this long screw here that goes right there and then this just pops off pretty simple uh, changing the cable is probably not going to be that simple I said this uh, usually involves um, bellows and some other things so we'll probably do all that if we have to change the cable so we'll see all right guys this is uh actually what's going on with our cable here is it was froze and just snapped it right off so uh what i'm gonna do is try to tie something to this to pull it back through probably uh probably some string or something so i can pull the new one right back through but uh i don't know how yours is this one was pretty easy to come off it had a couple little buttons you push in here take the cover off I had a couple of screws up to here and here and here came right up and then of course you got to take this bracket off and you know you would have to take this carter pin out right here but you know mine's broke so we'll get to that in, in a minute uh so hopefully that after it comes out of this bracket will just pull right through and from what i saw on the back it actually looks like there's a sleeve that goes through the transom like a hose that, it, that the cable goes in and it should pull right back through that hopefully so if that's the case and it's already a winner over a freaking mercruiser with the damn boots so we'll see how that goes all right so i had to pull out these very long screws here and it looks like this pop off and that's the key for these cables, so this should just pop right up now, in theory. Yes. All right, there we go. So, uh, I don't, yeah, I'll probably tie something on here right now, I'll tape something on here right now, and i pull it through here, so. As it has to go, there's one axis here. That's going to be in the side here. I think I can get to it right here. And it should drop down right back here, which I, I can see it under the engine cover here. It's actually right there. And I believe that hose right there is the hose that goes through the transom. So that's where it's almost like a sleeve that we have to pull through. So hopefully that makes it easier. All right, 
so I took off the carter pin here and took this nut off that goes in here. Uh, the cable runs through the, the drive here to the other side right here. And it's got this clamp holding it down. You'll need to take these two nuts off. They're 7 16 11 millimeter. And from what I can tell, I'm not 100%, but I'll let you know. But as far as I can tell, this cable runs through a sleeve through the transom and a drive back up to the top there. That's the one I was showing you from inside the boat. So if that's the case and there's no, no bellow like this and it runs through like on a Mer Cruiser, then that's fantastic. All right, guys, so here, this is a clip that holds that cable in place. And there's the two stainless steel nuts or bolts that we pulled out here. So, uh, yeah, see it's nice and loose now, so we should be able to pull it through. All right, so we got our rope here attached. Uh, I've seen people use fishing line too, but I said it should pull through there, in theory. So, there we go. Let's see. Right here is the cable coming in, and this is the sleeve we're talking about. It goes in right here. Hopefully, uh, we have got it tied up because you can't see it, but it goes back down through the transom down here. All right, guys, we are going to pull it back out this way because it did not go in. So we're gonna pull it out. All right. Okay, we got it out and- Even though it popped off. Even though it popped off. As soon as it came out. Still made it through, so. All right. Now, we can measure this because I know it ain't 27 freaking feet long. This boat's 27 feet long. All right, guys, uh, as far as I can tell, these are the readily available on Amazon. You just got to know your length and obviously the ends that you have. So we're going to measure this one right quick. Uh, as uh, that price varies on the length. Our string did manage to survive. Uh, no bellows here for the shift cable is wonderful. You guys take note, Mer Cruiser. That's uh, pretty fantastic. It's got a sleeve it pulls through because these things go bad all the time. So that's uh, wonderful. 